Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 43. In this video, we will discuss how to use the software application called Endoku 3 on your Android phone or device. Endoku 3 is a free software application. Use your Play Store to search and download Endoku 3. Here's what the Endoku 3 application icon looks like on your Android phone's home screen. Touch the icon to launch the application. After you launch the application, here is the Endoku 3's main menu screen. We are going to review each of these menu items. We begin by touching the new game menu item. At this point, we choose our level of difficulty and then touch the start button to begin playing the game. Before we begin playing, here is the definition of the Endoku 3 difficulty levels. You can choose the level difficulty based on what puzzle solving techniques you know. We return back to the Endoku 3 app. We choose Tricky for the difficulty level and we touch the Start button. We are now in the puzzle solving screen. If we touch the nine dots in the upper right, it pulls up a menu. We touch the Compute Candidates menu item to have Endoku 3 put in all the possible candidates into the puzzle. Endoku 3 has determined all the possible candidates for each cell as shown. We then touch on the 4 button to highlight all the 4s. We see a hidden single in the house making up row 7 in cell 7, 8. We touch the cell to choose 4 as the value of the cell. Next, we touch the 3 button to highlight all the 3s. We are now showing all the 3s. We see a set of locked candidates with the two cells having possible three candidates in block 6 in the house making up row 6. This means we can eliminate the possible three candidate in cell 5, 5. We touch the pencil button to put Endoku 3 into pencil mark editing mode. We then touch cell 5, 5 to remove the possible three candidate from the cell as shown. We next touch on the undo button to demonstrate how the undo feature works. We then touch on the redo button to restore the last change we made. Next we click on the check button to see if everything we've done so far is correct in the puzzle. The green check mark means everything is good so far. If we made mistakes, Endoku would show red X's over the numbers. We would then keep clicking the undo button until the puzzle had no more red X's showing. Next we touch on the X button to unselect a number being highlighted. We then touch the 3 button again to return back to having all the 3's selected. We touch the pause button to pause Endoku from counting the amount of time we have taken so far to solve the puzzle. We touch the continue button to return back to our game. Next we click on the 9 dot button in the upper right to pull up the pop-up menu. We touch show hint menu item. Endoku is now giving us the first level of hint as to what to do next in the puzzle. We touch the continuation button. Endoku is now showing the second level of hint which is in more detail. We touch the continuation button one more time. Endoku executes the puzzle solving technique indicated by the hint. We now have a 7 in cell 3 comma 9 as shown. We touch the Show All Running Apps button at the bottom of the screen. We touch the Close All button. Endoku will automatically save our game when the program exits. We touch the Endoku 3 app icon again to relaunch the app. As you can see, this time the Resume Game menu button is not grayed out. We touch the Resume Game menu button. We now see a list of all our previous games we can choose to continue working on. For now, we return back to the main menu. Next, we will show you how to enter your own givens from an existing puzzle. We touch the Custom Puzzle menu button. We touch the plus button in the lower right so we can manually enter our own givens. This is Endoku's page for entering your own givens. Once we have entered all our givens, Endoku will show the message Unique Solution available and the camera icon turns into a disk icon. We touch the disk icon to save our puzzle. Endoku is now showing the dialog box where we enter the name of the puzzle we just entered. We touch the Save button to save. We now see our puzzle with its name. We can touch the puzzle at this point to start playing. We return back to Endoku's page for entering your own givens. This time we touch the camera icon. In a browser we have DX Sudoku video number 25 showing a puzzle having a hidden triple in it. We can now snapshot this puzzle so we can practice finding hidden triples. We touch the take photo button and the puzzle is pulled in. We are now seeing the puzzle we just captured with the camera. We touch the disk icon to save the puzzle. Again, we see Endoku's Save Puzzle dialog box, we enter our puzzle's name, and we touch the Save button. Again, at this point, we could touch the puzzle and we could begin playing. But instead, we return back to the main menu screen. We touch the Tutorials menu button. 
we are now seeing an introduction and a list of tutorials for techniques needed for the very easy and doku difficulty level. We select challenging and we see the list of techniques needed for solving this level of Ndoku's difficulty. We touch on Naked Pair. We are now seeing the first page of the Naked Pair tutorial. We touch the continue button. We are now seeing the second page. We touch the continue button again. We are now seeing the third page of the tutorial. Again, we touch the continue button. We are now seeing the fourth page of the tutorial. We touch the continue button one more time. This time, Endoku executes the technique and removes the non-possible candidates from row one of the puzzle. We touch the close button. We return back to the tutorial selection page. We return back to the main menu. Statistics shows you statistics on your usage. The other settings buttons allow you to change settings like mute audio. You can review these commands on your own. This completes the Exodoku training video number 43. Please support the Exodoku. Thank you for watching.